because I want to go ahead and get started with this episode because, again, it's going to be a weird one. So, so I mentioned earlier that I had finished watching Twin Peaks Season 3, and that kind of ties into our first story. So let me go over that just super quickly. I'm going to recommend it for people who are a fan of anything Fordian or weird. Now, the first two seasons are a bit different than the third season. The first two seasons is a long, kind of drawn-out soap opera that has these creepy elements. And they you, first it starts off, you think it's a murder mystery, and then it involves stuff like demons and UFOs and portals to other dimensions. And it, it really started to kind of freak people out. As a kid, I was always afraid of Twin Peaks, but I was also obsessed with it. It's really the the forerunner of all the shows like X-Files and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, The Killing. I, I, a lot of these shows wouldn't exist without Twin Peaks. It broke a lot of ground. Now, when Twin Peaks Season 3 was coming out, there was always the question of, was it going to be the small town slice of life with a little dash of dimensional stuff? Or was it going to be balls-to-the-wall weirdness? And it was balls to the wall weirdness. And it, it, the, sh- it's, the show's genius. The last episode ends of the second season with Agent Dale Cooper, FBI Agent Dale Cooper, being trapped in another dimension and being told in 25 years he can leave. And season three, I believe, starts was filmed 25 years later. I don't know how they planned that. It could have been 20 years later, but it was close enough. And s- season three is all about other dimensions, doppelgangers, demons, an invasion force like this interdimensional alien coming down. I'm not spoiling any of it, really, because there's tons of more stuff. Maybe a little bit of spoiling, but it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. And it actually had one of the things that creeps me out the most, and that is, and David Lynch is really good at this, making the normal horrifying. So there's a scene where, so there's two Special Agent Dale Coopers. One is a doppelganger who is being piloted by a demon knowing as, known as Killer Bob. And the other one is actually Special Agent Dale Cooper. And there's a scene where the evil version, Mr. C is what he's known as, he goes to a gas station in the middle of nowhere. And he walks up the stairs of, like, he walks up the stairs of the gas station to the roof and he flickers and he disappears. And he ends up in this pocket dimension that's like an old hotel. Which is, that that's creepy to me, because you drive past these places constantly, and I'm always afraid of those portals, those like, the man from Torah type of things, where you just kind of walk in the wrong spot, and you disappear from our reality. I don't necessarily think it's super likely, but I think it's possible, definitely. And so, the, the show is full of stuff like that. At one point, a couple other FBI agents go to an abandoned lot. And then a couple sheriffs go to this meadow in the middle of the forest, and there's just these vortexes of activity. If you go to the right place or wrong place at a certain time, you will get thrust into these horrifying events. And and that really plays a huge part in season three. Then when he's leaving the gas station, when he comes back down the stairs and he flickers back into our reality, we learn the gas station doesn't even exist. It's just a grove of trees. So imagine you're a civilian in this situation. You're just driving down the road to get to your house. You're driving through the wilderness, and you're just past a grove of trees. And you don't know that in that grove of trees, sometimes, if you're there the right time, there will be a gas station. And if you walk up the stairs to the roof of that gas station, you will be thrust into this pocket dimension. I find that absolutely terrifying because it is the mundane turned into the terrifying. And that is where we're going to start our episode. And again, if I haven't made it clear enough, watch it. It's a great show. It's incredibly well done. And especially season three. I've wondered if you could hop into season three without having seen the first two seasons. I definitely recommend all of them. But if you just wanted to get like the super weirdness, you might be able to jump right into episode three. I I mean, season three. I watched all three seasons and there's still stuff that doesn't make sense to me, so... That was a clip from our daily podcast, Dead Rabbit Radio. Dead Rabbit Radio is available anywhere that you listen to podcasts. It's daily paranormal, conspiracy, and true crime news. If you want to hear the full episode that this clip came from, check the link below. Please like and subscribe. And hit that little bell, too. That does some magical stuff. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.